Hi, I'm from Techie Dialogue. In today's tutorial, we'll learn how to remove background static from vocals in Ableton, step by step. If you're enjoying these tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. Let's dive in. Step 1. To clean up your vocals, we'll use a tool called the noise gate. Noise gates are incredibly useful for removing background noise like computer fans, faint chatter, or even electrical hums from your recordings. Here's how to apply a noise gate. Drag the gate effect from the audio effects section onto your vocal track. Adjust the threshold. This sets the volume level where the gate will start working. Any sound quieter than the threshold will be reduced or muted. Start with a high threshold and gradually lower it until you hear the static fading without affecting your vocal clarity. Step 2. Next, tweak the floor setting. This controls how much quieter the noise will become. For most cases, lowering the floor enough to suppress the static is ideal, but be careful not to completely mute the natural dynamics of your vocals. Step 3. To avoid harsh, choppy cuts, adjust the attack and release settings. Attack determines how quickly the gate opens. A value around 15 milliseconds works well for vocals. Release controls how quickly the gate closes. Set this to about 40 milliseconds to keep transitions smooth and natural. Play your track and listen closely. Fine-tune these settings until the static is reduced and your vocals still sound clean and full. Step 4. Now, experiment with the threshold again to find that sweet spot. Lower it too much and the gate won't reduce the noise effectively. Set it too high and you might cut off parts of your vocal performance. And that's it! Noise gates are an excellent tool for cleaning up vocal recordings and with a bit of practice, they'll become an essential part of your workflow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.